in Extremadura in Spain with Vegas Altas. Um, it's their orange, I think they call it orange Extremadura, something like that. Um, but it's very orange. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that far off from this color or better. Um, and this is one that I think is a really great price performing orange wine. Um, it's 13% ABV, so not super low, not super high, right in the middle. Um, and I don't know exactly how much extraction it has. Again, sorry, the color is not great um, to be able to see with from this angle. But um, I'm going to imagine that it has a decent amount of extraction. The grapes are two that uh, I'm not super familiar with because they're very common in that region, but not so much elsewhere. Uh, they're Cayetana, Cayetana, something like that, and Pardina. Um, so you'll see it a lot in Extremadura, but I don't know exactly uh, what their typical orange wine would taste like other than this one. So with that in mind on the top, it's almost like a little bit sherried on the nose. What's the, yeah, it's only 2021. So it's not actually uh, got any age on it, which means that I do think that must be coming from the extraction. So it's got this like slightly like honeyed, um, a little bit just like slightly oxidized note to it, which I don't know if it was oxidized, but that's the type of note that I'm getting on the top. Um, tangerines. Honestly, like um, a little bit like a jam, like a peach jam or like a strawberry type jam. And down here, it's like candied pineapples and like candied apricots or something like that. It's funny, it's like Everything I've said to describe it makes it seem sound like it's gonna taste like a fortified or like a like almost like a sweet wine. And it definitely is not that. It's certainly just like a straight up still wine. Um, but you wouldn't know that from the nose. So let's try it. Mm, all right. So everything that we just talked about is pretty much there. The slightly oxidized note is still there as well so maybe it does just have a hint of this sort of like sherried aspect to it um but it's not like in the driver's seat what's in the driver's seat is still these like fruits but that have like a decent amount of tannin like this is an orange wine that has a good amount of tannin in it um so that makes it so that it's almost like it just changes the fruit quality completely um so it's interesting because like on the nose like it's got the sharpness to it that I think is like a little bit dulled or dulled's not the right word because like it's still really expressive and lovely but the tannin just kind of like makes it makes everything like super grippy so it's like this grippy apricot and like all the every, anything that sounded like sweetness like candied apricots like take away the candied on the nose or on the palate because it is so dry like very dry um so yeah really interesting very cool uh orange wine it's uh, if you're not that into orange wines, I would say this is not gonna be one for you. If you like orange wines, this is like the best price performing, like complex, interesting, uh, like relatively heavy extraction orange wine you can get. Um, it makes pairing it kind of like interesting, um, because it's so dry, and like it's got it's. I mean, like pairing orange wines like this can be a little bit tricky. So I kind of like the idea of it with um things like yams or sweet potatoes or something that actually does have a little bit of like sweetness and like starchiness to it I like that um so I don't know Thanksgiving type stuff your mashed potatoes and marshmallows or whatever it is your family's doing um it could also be interesting with this is a random one but like pad thai or like mm, yeah no no spice on it though spice would not go with this at all it has to be like not spicy pad thai or not spicy drunken noodles um yeah, it's really a tricky one. Let me think of some. Oh, you know what? I think just starchy stuff. It's just making me think like like um roasted squash. I really like the idea of that too. So something about that starchiness, I think, is really what this wine needs. Um, so that gives you a lot of good vegetarian options and a lot of good fall options. So enjoy. <laughs>